I was just listening to Terry Gross on NPR, and uh, you know my website, Whack Your Boss. And Terry Gross was talking to Billy Bragg about cynicism. And I'm just, I thought I wanted to try to draw what cynicism is and what it looks like. It's sort of like a like a rolling of the eyes, maybe, and like an I don't care. I usually just try to draw from my feelings, you know? Just try to feel it out. Well, this already has got a feeling like his, maybe his, his, his elbow is up on something like this. Maybe he's even got a drink in his hand. And this idea of cynicism, like just that nothing matters. I could draw like a bar here like this. And it looks like he's in bed now too, maybe. I'm gonna try another one. But Billy Bragg said that we think we might need to fight fascism or we need to fight one of those isms. And he said the biggest thing we need to fight is cynicism. He said that's where you lose all hope. I'm not really happy with these so far, but maybe I'll try the back of this pen. I've got a, uh, got a brush pen on it. Maybe this is a little more it. Sort of like cynicism causes you to just not care about anything. No empathy. That's what he talked about. He said that they, whoever they are, their goal is to try to kill empathy. Because if you're not empathetic, then you're cynical. And if you're cynical, then you're not going to try. You're just going to give up. I liked what he had to say. Apparently he's come out with a new book. Cynicism. Cynical. I don't like that shoulder. That's not right. Cynicism. Like, yeah, I'm going to flip this pen around, actually. Yeah, this has got the brush pen on it. It's a lot thicker line here. And you can draw skinny, and then you can draw fat, and then you can draw skinny again. Skinny. Skinny, fat, skinny, so... So that would make a good mouth right there too. Didn't mean this to look at this. Now this is actually going to become a face. Watch this. Check this out. And this will be like a little mustache. Didn't mean for this to happen, but this may not be cynicism necessarily, but this just feels like a good mouth. Totally didn't intend for this to happen, but. Now I could go ahead and make an open eyeball here. If I do it, it'll be permanent. I can't change back. So what the hell, I think I'll try it out. Well, this might actually be able to work for cynicism. I can make the eyeball up here like he's looking up or down. He does look like he's looking down right now. I think I'll try the up. Now if this were drawn in Flash or some sort of a program on a computer, I could do undo and go click, click, take away those two eyeballs, but Guess that's not going to be happening on this drawing. I usually like to draw on this better with the uh, the uh, the brush pen a little squishier, it gives a fatter, skinnier line. See the way these guys now are skinny. You know, this looks like it's turning into a big cynicism beast. Cynicism beast. How can I connect all these? I didn't realize this would happen, but. This is what's happening now. The cynicism blob. Make these squishy looking like he's a big like job of the hut kinda. I I had this little line here, I guess I gotta work that into there too. wish that line hadn't touched there, but that's just the way it goes sometimes. So there's a cynicism beast. Look at this guy here. Maybe they're thinking about him. Maybe that's what's going on. Yeah, yeah, that's the ticket. That's what's going on. So I'll just do one of these. It's a thought bubble. 
and we can do multiple thought bubbles to show that they're all thinking. So the cynicism breeds more cynicism. This guy thinks that he's just alone at a bar being cynical about the world when the fact is he is the thought. He is the creation of mass cynicism, collective cynicism, all of it trying its best to get rid of hope, love, empathy, and joy, which we can now draw over here. Just happily zipping through life without a care in the world. Because love and joy and empathy cannot be conquered. I got choices here. I can draw him dancing on a, I know, I'll draw him dancing on a, what will look like a little, a little ball, but it'll actually be a miniature earth. Just to add a little bit of commentary on here. Cynicism can't tolerate wonder or hope or joy. When there's cynicism, it believes that it is powerful. It believes it's got all the answers. It's a big, fat, bloated, dead know-it-all. Have a good week.